I've always had this part of me that's loved to make things. I love the self-expression that comes with it. There's no right or wrong answer. The fact that it helps other people connect and express themselves and recognize their emotions. I love that. I love the beauty of how free it is. For a lot of my life, probably since fifth grade or even before that, I've dealt with depression and like suicidal thoughts. In going through these rough patches in this depression, I've had to face the decision to either let that consume me and let that become who I am, or I can fight that and realize how I can stay positive and happy. Even though there's low points in your life or things that happen that don't make sense, it all is part of a greater purpose to help you become who you are and the way you choose to look at those events shapes your journey. There's a lot of good writers and a lot of good quotes that inspire me to do that, to become happy and to be who I am. It's hard to work to become yourself because there's so many outside influences that are telling you, this is what you need to be, this is what you need to be. Be normal. And they're stifling that voice. And it takes a lot of self-confidence to work past those and say, you know, that's not who I am, this is who I am. I know who I am and I know what my path is and I know that it might be difficult to pursue that, but it's important to pursue that in order to reach my fullest potential. It matters so much to me that I'm genuine and that I'm doing what I feel like I need to be doing and working to live the life that makes the most sense to me and makes me happy and makes me feel like I'm creating I feel like the goal in life, or at least in my life, is to learn and to grow and develop because the more you can do that, the more you can help others around you. I love that there's a fighter in me that will continue to stay positive and fight to live and fight to create and fight to be happy and at peace with who I am in my situation.